Welcome to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is Murder Mystery Monday. For today's mystery recommendation, I want to take you to the golden age of mystery writing, but in the United States. Often that, that term is used for um, writers in the UK, but Mary Roberts Reinhardt was a brilliant mystery and suspense writer from the United States. And today's recommendation is The Great Mistake. This is a standalone mystery and I really enjoyed this mystery. I had a lot of fun with it. The great mansion known as the Cloisters loomed above the town like a ghostly apparition. Built of stones ripped from an ancient monastery, it was the creation of a willful millionaire's twisted imagination. Now he was dead but he had left his distracted widow and his handsome, dissolute son condemned to live imprisoned in this monument to unholy pride and power. Then one day, the haunted pair were joined by young and lovely Patricia Abbott. And soon, she too learned that a madman's dream had become the home of terror. So you can tell from the way it's described at the back that Mary Roberts Reinhardt was famous for writing suspense. This one, I would say, leans more toward the mystery side than the suspense side, um, and I really did enjoy it. She wrote this in 1940, and here's from chapter one. The first time I ever spoke to Maud Wainwright was in her boudoir at the Cloisters. She was sitting in front of her famous expanding table, the one at which she seated her dinner parties, with a bunch of place cards in her hand and a completely baffled look on her face. Come in and sit down, Miss Abbott, she said. I can't get up. If I move, this wretched table collapses. I've seated this dinner three times already. I didn't wonder that the table had collapsed. It was drawn out to its full length and there must have been a hundred slots around its border. You know the idea. The table can be made large or small and the cards already written are placed upright in the slots. It is a sort of bird's eye view of the party in advance supposed to make for harmonious arrangement later. Although there was a general belief that Maud Wainwright merely shuffled the cards and dealt them out. I know she once placed old Joseph Berry next to Mrs. Theodore Earle, who had not spoken to him for years. She must have moved just then, however, for the table chose that moment to divide in the center and fall again, scattering such cards as had been placed over the white velvet carpet. She leaned back at that and closed her eyes. Take it away, she said. I can't face it again. Get somebody downstairs to fix it and don't bring it back until that, until it decides it isn't twins. <laughs> so this is told in the, from the first person perspective of Patricia Abbott. She's a great character. I like her. She gets a job as a secretary to Maud Wainwright um, at the Cloisters and we learn a little bit more about what goes on in the house. And then of course there's a murder. And yeah, I, I just really enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section if you've read Mary Roberts Reinhardt. And if you have, do you have a favorite? Because I definitely want to read more um, of her. Uh, some, like I said, some of her books lean more toward the suspense side, romantic suspense, and others are definitely more mystery. And uh, yeah, this one was just a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, that's my recommendation for today, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.